Guys, oh my god, before this vlog starts, I've got a story for you. Yo, what's up guys, it's Jake, and uh, welcome back to the vlog. I'm sorry that my hand is shaking. Um, it is a car vlog, it's late at night, and this is just a little story I'm going to explain to you about how surprised I am. Like, you, you can think that you know somebody, but you don't actually know them, and... Who I'm inferring to right now is Jake Paul, and I've I've been watching his vlogs about two months, and I thought I know a lot about him, like about the White House and what he did. And obviously, guys, if Jake Paul is not relevant or he's not a YouTuber that you watch, feel free to click off this video. Um, it's just some news that I found out, and it's a bit of information to give you guys because it's actually surprising what you can find out. And I don't judge him now, and I never did. I find him funny, and I watch his vlogs. It makes my day, like you know going home. Right, anyway, so how this started was, earlier this night I was on my Xbox and I thought I'd go on my computer, quit the Xbox and just go on YouTube. I was watching a Jake Paul vlog, uh, his most recent one, I can't remember what it was, but something clicked to me and he, what he actually did, right, people are looking, hey! Right, and what he actually did uh, was drop the microphone on stage which got millions of views, everybody knows about it, viral hit and it was embarrassing. However, what what I actually understood is his most popular song and his most viewed video is Every Day Bro, It's Every Day Bro with a Disney Channel flow. I thought it was just a sick song and obviously I was getting used to the lyrics and I didn't know who Alyssa Violet was. That is his ex-girlfriend which I never knew. Right, so why that's you're probably thinking, right, his ex-girlfriend, what's so special? Well, this ex-girlfriend apparently cheated on him and uh, he had some lyrics in the description of his... Some lyrics, um, I actually... It weren't Jake Paul's video where he dropped the microphone. It was somebody commentating over it and uh, he, he explained in detail what the lyrics meant and he did explain that it was aimed at this girl when um, Tessa Brooks come on, she did it. Tessa Brooks is the one that was exposing her and having digs at her. Um, I can't remember word for word. I'll try and find them. But that's not just it. It gets further. So this is just me searching one video. And uh, and I realised that this guy hates Jake Paul because he was there saying, oh, here he is, he's got all his fans begging to him, what have you. And I was like, it's all publicity. It's people want views off it. I'm not about that. I'm just about getting the truth out. And I just want to know, you know, what the truth like no one wants to live a lie and know a lie about someone that you watch every day and i guess you can say it is a part of your life if they're that important so from that video of a guy commentating badly um i typed in it's every day bro to watch the song you know because that was a live performance and understand the lyrics a bit better maybe so i typed it in and every day sis come up which said rice gum featuring Alyssa Violet so I was like maybe this is a response and it did have a hundred and ten million views so it was like a sort of response video um, which is crazy because there's so many digs in that video and Ricegum did say that he's got nothing against Jake Paul however yet yeah, he was complaining about everything and roasting in uh... so then Alyssa Violet was going off on him saying anything she could so it was like a two uh, a two-way battle and then I don't know how it must have come up in the recommended from that video it come up that Jake Paul and his house and you know with Post Malone and how he um, exposed his address and I don't know how I got this but I got onto Drama Alert's address I don't know how I did this but I got onto Drama Alert's page and I was watching the Jake Paul interview which he had beef with his neighbours and there was a lot to argue with and for and against and all that rubbish so uh, I guess it's for you to decide, but this is, but I guess this can be a touchy subject to some people as they really do love him. Uh, I'm not going to comment on it because it's nothing to comment really. Uh, it's your opinion counts to you and nobody else, uh, so keep that to yourself. I'm not going to go and slag him off or a mutual feeling, literally it's not going to affect me watching him every day, I'm not that immature. Um, he makes me laugh and he makes my day, so... So, let's carry on the vlog! Guys... What have I just witnessed? So, I was going through YouTube once again, and, um... 
this is a little story and it relates to yesterday. So obviously I didn't vlog anymore from yesterday because I didn't have the time, I didn't do much. However, I was on YouTube today and um, I was watching Jake Paul and his last video was I went to see my ex-girlfriend. Now, that is not the title. The title should be Roasting Rice Gum. Oh my God, it is mad. He goes in on him. So where all this starts is Rice Gum two days ago uploaded a video um, reacting to the Team 10 house. Now, what's crazy is it doesn't sound bad, does it? But once you watch the video, he goes on to insult Jay, pair with Jay, he goes on about the house size. He insults Jake's friends, literally. And I know Jake Paul is obviously a big YouTuber, Rice Gum is, but as a big YouTuber, you do not respond to hate. And, um, I guess that's something that he did because he went in on him, and I mean in! The insults that he was saying, like, it started off by, oh, they've got an elevator for a, a what, a two, two-floored house, which, fair enough, you ignore. But then, Rice Gum, known as Brian, I believe, goes on to say that Nick Crompton and Tessa Brooks would not be able to fit in the elevator, which, if that's your opinion, you keep it to yourself. Obviously, it's a horrible comment, just don't say it because... People feel so insecure about their bodies. And like, I'm not I'm not trying to go mad at anyone or anything. I'm just giving my point of view. Um, because it's stupid, really. Like, fair enough if you want to react to the video. But you don't go on to insult people. No matter who it is. Whether you like them or whatever. Whether you hate them or dislike them or whatever. It's not right to insult people. Who is making fun uh, of Nick Crompton? And, and Tessa Brooks and body shaming them and calling them fat. That's not an elevator. Like, I'm telling you, if Tessa and Nick Compton hopped in that, it would break. I mean, it's just over capacity. And so I, I watched the video. I was just like, I was blown away. Everyone Clearly, Jake Paul is upset that Rice Gum made fat jokes about uh, Tessa and about Nick Crumpton. And, you know, he, he makes this point like, don't you dare come after my friends. But, like, Jake, did, did you forget that you went after Rice Gum's friend? Faze Banks? You know, the the whole he assaulted your assistant, the thing that never happened, I mean, it, it's a little hypocritical. Now, where I'm getting this information from, um, this next information, is a bit bizarre because the video is off Dramler, I did watch it myself, I watched Jake's Paul, I knew it before like the video went up and all that, so I was aware of it, don't think I've just watched a Dramler and decided to copy it because it's not, this is my own review, and um, what... What drama, drama alert, Keemstar says at one point of the video is Jake needs to remember. Um, he, do, he does say, as you saw in the clip, that coming after his family and friends, Jake says coming after his friends um, and saying horrible things is not nice and it really, that's when it starts to touch him. It does have a, it does offend him. What Keemstar says is Jake needs to remember that he attacked and accused uh, Faze Bang of hitting his assistant or whatever. I don't, I don't know the situation. I didn't follow any of them at the time, and uh, that is a bit bizarre. But I've heard that it's true. You can type it in on Google, read whatever you want. Um, yeah, that that that's all like another story that went down. But that's that. Now, guys, where this gets more serious is Rice Gum, and I don't believe this is right. But Ricegum makes a joke about suicide and there's, if you look at his video, it's got so many dislikes nearly. I don't know, it, it had more dislikes than likes when I watched it. And I know Jake Paul has been going through an emotional moment about with the wristband that he's wearing. I know that it's very serious, so this is, I guess, what brought his anger out. And watching off drama alert, like he was saying that he played a clip, which you'll see. They start to make fun of the Team 10 house, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I proceed to watch the video. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like baffled. He starts to make fun of suicide. And by implying that I should kill myself or, or, or people in the Team 10 house should kill themselves. And then a rope hanging down with like the swirly thing and then like a chair underneath, just right around there somewhere. But what do you think? I think you should put like vanity. Whether he's joking or not, he needs to be called out for these actions. This is unacceptable. Hundreds of thousands of families 
are affected by suicide every single year. It's not something to joke about or, or even to encourage anyone to do. And the reason why this is so dear uh, to me is because if you remember less than like four days ago, I made a whole entire vlog about this bracelet that I'm wearing, about this girl who took her, her own life and whose family is completely affected by it and, and that the, the little sister can't cope with it and has to go to a hospital just to be able to live her life and she's a Jake Pauler and my videos inspire her and so the fact that Brian is sitting there making fun of it when there's people like that suffering I just don't get why or how people can support this kid. Ricecom does go to say that he should hang a rope uh, whatever and, you know he, he don't actually say it but it's so implied, it's all in there, his pictures and everything. And it's just not right, like, at the end of the day, saying things is one thing, but, like, he's basically telling him to do another. And, uh, yeah, I just don't believe that's right. Now, the bit that I find bizarre, which annoys me a lot, is how Drama Alert says that it's not a problem. And if you watch his video, um, I'll play it. But I don't really think what rice gum did was really that bad so how is that not a problem seriously he's going on like oh uh, he's just going on with himself and it's like and at the end of the day none of this is right what rice gum saying ig ignore the fact of anything that is not right and i do understand completely where jake is coming from he is more touched by this as i said before with the family that looks up to him like a member passed away and he takes that very serious and now he's made a video on that he finds it very, very offensive. Yes! Now this is the best bit about the video. Jake Paul goes in, I'm not going to say anything else, watch the clip and enjoy. And remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and I'll see you later. Clout Gang, when I have made everyone that is in Clout Gang, I am the owner of Clout Gang. I am the CEO of Clout Gang. I have given all the clout to Clout Gang. And if you look at it, I think Clout Gang actually spells Logan. Because why not throw Logan into the mix? Logan and I are your dads. We gave birth to you. No more iDubs. It's Logan and I. Call us daddy from now on. Please, whenever you would. So Brian, you can hate on me all you want. Talk about my house. Whatever you want to say. But in your video, you started comparing us. You started saying that, oh, our house is this. Your house is that. Don't ever compare me to your sorry ass. I bought this house with my own damn money. You're paying rent for one room within that house. You don't even have enough money to buy a house in California. But going back to my point earlier, that wasn't the Team 10 house because you can't do anything there besides make content in your room. My backyard has a backyard. And once again, you're renting it. Hold on, let me keep going. You made a video about your AdSense earnings. Let's check it out. So last month I made a roughly $60,000 uh, for one month. Wow, you made $60,000 in a month? Brian, if I make $60,000 in one day, I come here to my bed and I cry myself to sleep as a failure. $60,000 for me is a bad day. And I know your merch sales aren't shit, but if you are wearing his merch, that means you support all of this negativity and all that bad stuff, which makes you not cool in my books. I do not stand for that. Furthermore, my page has 3 billion views. I've been doing this for one year. You've been a YouTuber for like, since I can remember. Oh. But wait, hold on. If we add up all the videos that you've ever made about me, it equals 200 million of your views, which means 20% of your channel is because of me. Your biggest video is because of me. I am your dad. Speaking of 20%, if you want to sign to Team 10 so you can become relevant again, I'll be glad. I know you want to join Team 10, except I'm taking 40% of your career because there's a lot of work to do. Brian, you don't have a car while well, I'm out here in California riding around in cars that spit flames. All of the Lambos that you flex with are rented. And anybody else that is watching this besides Brian, guys, I'm not trying to brag. I don't need to brag. People see the stuff that I have. If he wants to play the compare game, like I said, I'm going to put the nail in the coffin because this kid needs to shut the f up. And again, to anyone watching, this is not how you handle situations. This is a once in a lifetime rare occasion that you will see from Jake Paul. 